Hi, it's Jane here from Practically Perfect Mums. Today I'm taking five with Brittany Ferries on the Portsmouth St Malo crossing and I'm going to give you a little look round at my cabin. So this is my home for the night, as well as the two single beds, there are also pull down beds on the walls, one on either side. And I also have a window. Ooh. The last time I was in a cabin, we didn't have any windows. So even though it's night time, it's really nice to have a window. There's a blind. As well as the curtains you can put across and you can even velcro those together to get a really good seal. At the other end of the room there's a television and a little bit of hanging space. And through this door is the ensuite shower room. There's some basic things provided in here like soap. Oh, and there's also towels. Okay, let's check the shower pressure. Not bad. And there's a hair and body wash dispenser as well, which is quite handy, I wasn't expecting that. So that's the ensuite. It's all pretty compact, but really everything that you would need for the crossing. There's tea and coffee making facilities here. Ah, and a European socket, so I'll have to remember to take my adapter out when I charge my phone later. The cabin sleeps four people with the two beds which are already in position and two pull down beds which are really easy, you just pull them down if you do anything else and you can just put a ladder up there for the bunk beds. The beds are comfortable, the pillows are comfortable, so um, yeah, it's quite cosy. It's not a huge room, obviously it's quite small, but um, it's it's perfectly adequate for a crossing. Um, there is Wi-Fi on the boat, but it doesn't reach to the rooms. It's not great, it's a bit patchy, um, but you do get a code on your card with the Wi-Fi on it. The tea and coffee making facilities are really useful. There's a good range of drinks there, including normal tea, fruit teas and mint tea, and hot chocolate. And there's also some little biscuits as well. And obviously you can bring your own food if you want to eat um, in the cabin. The shower has decent shower pressure. I was pleased to see that they have the shower gels and dispensers on the wall, as well as soaps and things, and lots of towels. The um, mirror is really well lit, which was really handy for doing makeup. And it's just really nice having a cabin. Um, if it's an overnight crossing, um, it's pretty much a given that you'll need a, a cabin. But it's actually really lovely for the daytime crossing as well because it, it gives you somewhere to chill out before we've got a, I've got a quite a long drive back. It's a good couple of hours depending on the traffic. It took me four hours to get here because the traffic was really bad. So it's nice to know that I can have a relax um, before I have to get back in the car. Thank you very much for hosting me to Brittany Ferries. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please do subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.